welcome back to our homestead. Today I would like to talk to you about one of my most favorite herbs, St. John's wort. In my language we call it Zviraboy. And I already have a video about St. John's wort, Zviraboy, and how it can be used medicinally. So today I just want to talk to you about, again, about this wonderful plant. This plant is already dry, what I have in front of you. It's already been dried. And it can be dried in a dehydrator. It can be dried in a well-ventilated place away from the sunlight. But the trick is, is to keep it dry. See, in many areas, including New England, it's quite humid. It's quite humid. So it's difficult to dry herbs without any kind of assistance. But I was able to dry them just like this they were tied together and they were hanging in the garage in my garage where there's plenty of airflow it's not direct in the sunlight and yet it's still very very dry so i was able to dry it in my garage um it's preferably to dry it where there's not not very dusty so like an attic or somewhere where there's no um no moisture no sunlight and lots and lots of airflow I couldn't dry it in my dehydrator because it's so bulky. Each branch is quite bulky. See how big it is? It would take up way too much space in my dehydrator. Plus my dehydrator has been very busy dehydrating lots and lots of different vegetables over the summer. I'm enjoying a beautiful tea that I just made with Zveraboy, just like my babushka used to make. All right, so let's talk about Zveraboy. St. John's wort. Last season I made some infused oils with St. John's wort and a tincture. But I I know that I ran out of all of my dried um, St. John's wort to make tea. So today that's what I'm going to be preserving it for. I'm going to be making tea out of it or infusions as I call it. So uh, because it's such a bulky plant uh, and we use an aerial plant Ariel means flowers, stem, and leaves. I'm going to be using just that, the Ariel. So what I'm doing is I'm just cutting them up. Into, actually, you know what? Let me try without scissors. Let me just try without them. They completely dry and crispy. Yeah, I can just break them. And I'm going to be making them even into a smaller, more manageable tea, um, Ariel tea. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be breaking them up right now so they will easier to fit into a grinder, making sure that it's not mixed with any kind of other grasses. So this is harvested in June or early July, depends on your area, okay? And as I always, always say, it is the most important thing is that we harvest in a very clean ecological place because they are dangerous that it could be growing somewhere in a park near a road where there is a run runoff out from the vehicles okay where that soil will be contaminated and therefore you do not want to take any contaminated herbs or foods into your into your system okay so very very clean ecological places so i make sure that i harvest all of my herbs far away from any kind of contamination, okay? All right, so St. John's Word. There are, there's so much information about St. John's Word, and I feel like some of the information out there is actually a little on the scary side, where it will make you think twice about using any kind of herbs. As any other herbs, St. John's Word deserves lots of respect, and we need to respect it and be careful with it. What do I mean by that? I mean that if anyone who is new to herbs should always do their research and not take any information you see or hear on my YouTube channel as your medicinal or medical advice. You should always speak with your physician. Why do I say that? It's because St. John's wort may have many contraindications to some people. For example, if anyone who is taking any kind of a blood pressure medication, okay, 
it actually can counteract with your medication and cause you some problems by increasing your blood pressure, okay? Or anyone who is taking thyroid medication, this can also interfere with your medication, stimulating way too much production of your thyroid hormone, all right? Or if people who have sensitivity to sulfa or those who are taking sulfa medication based antibiotics, again, that can make you a little bit more sensitive to the sun. If you are scheduled for a surgical procedure and you're gonna be having anesthesia, this can cause your anesthesia to be way stronger, causing way too much sedation than intended by anesthesia. So I recommend always talking to your doctor, always tell them, hey, what do you think about St. John's Word? I wanna do it. And it can be done for a short period of time, not forever. I like to get my information from many books. This one in particular is called, I'm gonna read it, uh, Prescription for Herbal Healing. This is an older edition. This is a second edition. There are newer editions now, um, but it, it's a really good book. Uh, totally revised and updated, an easy use A to Z pre uh, reference to hundreds of common disorders and their herbal remedies by uh, Phyllis, belch all right so that, like i said this is an older version they have newer versions now and in this book there's a whole big goodness i want to say almost three pages yeah more than three pages of very specific instructions of what we could be using saint john's word for how as an infused oil as tincture or as as an infusion I'm drinking this today as an infusion. So St. John's Wort has beautiful property as an antiviral, antibacterial, antidepressant, anti-anxiety medication, okay? Or herb, I should say. It, it's, um, it's helpful in many different conditions. My grandmother, my babushka used to say that St. John's Wort, Zveraboy, was against 99 different diseases or disorders. It's amazing. It really does have a lot of wonderful properties, but also has lots and lots of cautions that you really need to be careful when you're using St. John's Wort. So you need to talk to your doctor whether, whether it's a good herb for you to use. And also do your own research. You know, today we have access to healthcare and tomorrow who knows what's gonna be there available for us. So as any mom, any homesteader, any wife, I would do research and stock up on some very useful herbs for your family. St. John's word has been very popular all over Northern European countries and where I come from. So everyone knows what Zveraboy, St. John's word is. And it grows, like I said, in, um, in blossoms, I should say, in June, July, and it coincides with the feast of St. John the Baptist. Maybe that's how it got its name, St. John's word. So um, when you look at the flowers, they are nice and bright flowers. And if you break a fresh flower or a stem, it's gonna release this interesting red pigment when you break the flower, or you rub the flower together. But if you look at the leaf upside down in the sun and you kind of um, turn it towards the sun, you will actually see a pretty amazing thing. It looks like there are holes throughout the entire leaf, almost like a sieve and the sun will shine through there are no holes it's there are holes in the coloring of the leaf it's a green leaf but you will see almost like little tiny spots of the sun shining through and that's one of the interesting characteristics of a saint john's word all right so what are the evidence of benefits of saint john's word and there are many and it's been studied a lot and like i said it's used often as a nerve tonic 
for people with mild to moderate depression. There have been some studies when they compared St. John's wort to certain medications such as Prozac, and it showed that it was actually more effective as an SSRI such as Prozac. So, but again, don't take my word for it. Please do your own research and talk to your doctor about it to make sure that it's nice and safe. It's also been used for um, neurologic pain, okay? And uh, for like carpatonal pain, uh, rubbing it into um, the tissue as an infused oil or as um, a medication to treat burns. I know I use the infused oils on my scars after my, the, the fire. So that really helped me with neurologic pain as well. I'm just making a pile here before I take it in the house to put it for further processing. All right, let's see, there's a lot, there's a lot going on in this book that talks about, it talks about cancer. Um, I'm very careful about talking about cancer because I don't want to give any false promises. So please do your own research. Um, Crohn's disease, hemorrhoids, um, people with um, irritable bowel, okay? Symptoms of menopause, of hot flushes is being used as an anti-inflammatory for rheumatism. Okay, all this little flowers will go for headaches I do put it in my herbal combination for when I make a tea for headache when someone has a headache so it is in my headache uh, combination for teas all right so I'm almost done here I'm gonna be going in the house in a minute and I'll show you what I'm gonna do next all right so now all of these big bulky stuff I'm gonna put in portions, in little batches, into my food processor. And I'm going to make it a little bit more manageable to fit in my, in my jar for storage. Beautiful. Just a few seconds, and now, there's still a lot of sticks, so those sticks I'm not gonna worry too, too much. All right, I'm not gonna worry about the sticks, so let me take out my blade. Some of the sticks that are way too big, I'm just gonna put aside for now, I don't want them. What I really want is, is the rest of the stuff. And we're gonna store it all in, in the jar. Come on guys, go inside. Just like this, just like this, all right? I'm gonna keep making this a little bit too many. I don't think I want all of these sticks. All right, I'll keep on making more. Okay, so from that huge pile, we have one quart and a half, a little bit more than a half. I always like to label them, and besides labeling, I also like to mention what this infusion can be used for, okay? So, and then of course I have a big pile of just sticks. The sticks we don't need. I mean, they're very coarse, they're not probably not going to work very well in an infusion anyway. Oh, there's a little piece left here. Um, so this, this will go into compost, I don't need it, okay? I don't need this part. But you know, the problem is sometimes when we buy tea or herbal tea or whatever online sometimes that's what we get in the mail i'm not kidding they will send this to you in the mail and it's such a waste of money and so sad because here we are ordering just sticks or if we're buying tea in a tea bags sometimes that's what it is too it just pulverized sticks unfortunately that is why foraging for your own preserving your own is so much better Okay, my St. John's wort is ready to be stored away for the winter months. And I'm gonna be using it in infusion teas that can be um, 
can be used in my family. And like I said, I always like to leave a little note in the front what we intending to use it for. And I know it's good for depression, anxiety, nervousness. It's going to help you to relax, uh, joint pain. It's good for headaches. But in my family, most likely it's going to be used as an antiviral herb. And it's going to be used usually in combination with echinacea and a few other herbs to treat um, viral issues in the winter months. I know it can be used as a, um, a remedy for cold sores or for chicken pox or for shingles, which are viral. Or even when we have sore muscles after working in the yard all day, coming in the house, making a tea that's going to help you to calm that pain in the muscle. And that's what we're going to be using it for. So, but I really, really encourage you, those who are not familiar with herbs, talk to your healthcare provider, ask them if it's okay for to use herbs, specifically St. John's Word, and use medicinal books, herbal books, to study more about herbs. We need to know what we have on hand and not rely on a pharmaceutical that might be not available to us at all times. I don't want to scare anybody. I don't want to give anybody kind of fear instilled in them, but I want you to be aware. I want you to have knowledge and peace that you have home grown, homemade remedies right there available for you and your family. So friends, be encouraged, study herbs, store away herbs, preserve them for home use. Okay. So be encouraged and try something new.